Hi, welcome back to Colorado and Company. You know there's a unique way to see five historic homes in the exclusive Denver Country Club neighborhood. Here to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the L'Esprit de Noel holiday home walking tour are Denise Sanderson and Lisa Zita. Welcome to the show, girls. Thank you. Hi. Always fun Thank to you. have you here. So, Denise, the 40th anniversary, that's a big, big deal. It's really exciting. For 40 years, the Guild has been hosting this tour, and the ladies who started it all are still working with us which is part of the key to the success. Yeah, it's very, very popular. And I understand the walking tour is taking place in the historic Denver Country Club neighborhood. Why did you choose that specific area? Well, Denver Country Club neighborhood has some of the best old homes, um, historic homes featured by different um, architects. They're traditional homes that have been updated for modern family living. And it appeals to our audience. Part of the secret of L'Esprit de Noel's success is the marriage of old homes and holiday decor that's updated. So beautiful. How does the walk work? Like the starting point, and do we get to see as many homes as we want? You can. You can see all five homes in a couple of hours. It is a walking tour. This year the houses are spread out between Lafayette Street and Gilpin Street. So it's a good walk. Um, and you can tour all five homes. You start at 160 High Street and work your way through on whatever order you want. Okay, and I see you brought in some of the decorating items um, that you use to decorate each home, is that true? We did, we brought obviously a Christmas wreath, right. a beautiful um, glass plate with a snowman on it, which we may not see this year in Colorado, <laughs> and then um, a Christmas card display tree, which is kind of unique and new, um, but it gives you a chance to have those Christmas cards out on display instead yep. of on a pile on your kitchen counter. That's a great idea. I'm going to do that this year. Normally, I just tape them on my wall, but I like that. That's beautiful. Lisa, let's think ahead to summer 2017. What operas do you have planned? Well, actually, it's the 85th year for Central City Opera. Wow. So, very historic. Um, and the operas that we're going to be having for the 2017 season are Carmen and Cozy. And i um, really excited about that. Um, subscriptions actually go on sale December 1st. And um, it's such a unique and memorable experience. Why it do you is. think? I mean, when I walk in, I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, the, the clouds, everything just clears and it's so beautiful. Well, it's a jewel box <laughs> theater. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, only holds 550 patrons. And so, so the it's experience, intimate. it's intimate, it's unique. And you know, it's just minutes from Denver, but it's internationally recognized. Isn't that beautiful? There are beautiful? people from all over the world Breathtaking. that mm -hmm. not only come to see it, but performers and conductors and so many others have experienced it and come back year after year because mm. of just how amazing it is. We're lucky to have that in our own backyard. So it you is. should really, really go see it. Yes. You're busy all year long at Central City Opera programs. Talk about some of them that is going on. Well, the really important aspect about Central City that um, so many people do not know is we have a huge education department. And they work um, all across Colorado as well as Wyoming and bring um, you know the opera and everything that um, we can engage for the younger mm -hmm. mindset from kindergarten all the way through high school and beyond. Oh. And they get the chance to engage with um, opera as a form of art. That's wonderful. And perform as well as, you know, be a part of the audience and behind the scenes. And so it really starts to connect that art form of at a such a young, young age. age. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's great bringing that culture to such a young age. So Denise, tell me the Central City Opera Guild, what does it do for the Central City Opera? Raises money, first yeah. and foremost. Okay. The house tour usually raises between eighty and hundred thousand dollars. We also work closely with Central City Opera staff on the education programming. We have a, a program called TACO, which is Take a Child to the Opera mm -hmm. in the summer. We do a program at the Denver Art Museum with young kids, again, introducing them to the art form of opera. You offer a lot. So it's really fun. And we take care of some historic properties up in Central City. we we got to find out more about what you do. Thank you for coming Thank on you. the show. It's Thanks wonderful so to see both us. of you. Again, the L'Esprit de Noel Holiday Home Tour is November 18th and 19th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tickets are at centralcityopera.org slash L'Esprit. You can also buy tickets at King Supers or Day of the Tour at 160 North High Street.